too often. We want to control, to command, maybe to manipulate what happens in our lives. But life can't be controlled, commanded, or manipulated. We know that life often just happens. But if we learn to trust God's control, maybe we can focus on the big picture and let go of some of our need to worry and control. A big picture that actually speaks to the deepest desires of all of us. To belong, to have a life of meaning and purpose, and to make a difference. Now, what follows is a spoken word piece that I wrote about the power of improvisation and maybe working together with others to achieve that dream that God has placed in all of our hearts, shaped around some of the rules of improv. I hope that this helps to inspire you. If you want to build a ship, says Antoine de saint exupéry don't drum up people together to collect wood and don't assign them tasks and work, but rather teach them to long for the endless immensity of the sea. Thank you, Antoine de saint exupéry Thank you for your advice to me to work against that urge to manage, but to acknowledge the vantage of the average and to encourage the pilgrimage of the scrimmage, to leave behind the oration and to open up to the frustration of collaborative creation, to follow the rules of improvisation, to say yes, and to add new info, to truly listen and support, to save your partners and not block them. Now these are new ways to see what is emerging and what is changing, new ways to be in the midst of difficulty, at least they are for me. And I wonder, is this too much to ask of me to actually live with arms wide open to community, to those encroaching on what I see as my territory, to those seeking to change my story? No, no, that's too much. I want to set things in order. I want to create a plot arc like no other, to shape believable characters whom everyone will love, to deepen the conflict and heighten the tension, to hint at possibilities that I will mention later. To collect the info and get a feel for the entire big picture, to map it all out, to clarify the problem, identify all of the leverage points, and then only when others can't take it anymore, I want to resolve the tension by revealing the solution. My solution. See, if I can control the story, then maybe I can control the world. At least, that's what I used to think. For now, I know that it's better to roll with the punches, to act on other people's hunches, to fill out the sketches made by those living around the edges, to create space for the story to grow as the storyteller tells it, to nurture it, support it, and encourage it, to trust the direction the story wants to go, even if I'm not the maestro. And then I think that trust is key for me to trust you and for you to trust me, to trust that I will value your contribution and that you will not cheapen mine, to trust that others come with similar passion and that in the end something good will ripen. But see, like me, you may have trust issues that prevent us from maintaining normal relationships, maybe hurt a few too many times to believe that others really care, we build a wall. A wall that you wouldn't know is there, a wall that will not let me share what lies within or receive what lies without, a wall that I'm happy to report is beginning to fall. As I'm working to leave behind the oration, to open up to the frustration of collaborative creation and to follow the rules of improvisation, to say yes and to add new info, to listen, to support, to save my partners, not block them, and to trust. These are new ways to see what is emerging, new ways to be in the midst of change in life, at least they were for me. So if you want to build a ship, don't drum up people together to collect wood and don't assign them tasks and work, but rather teach them to long for the endless immensity of the sea to trust the way the story goes because you trust the one telling the story.